Welcome to the J Squared Horror Podcast, where two lifelong horror fans talk all things horror. Pour yourself your favorite drink and hang out. Here are your hosts, Josh and Jake. Hey guys, welcome to the J Squared Horror Podcast. I'm Josh. And I'm Jake. And on today's episode, can you guess what we're going to be talking about? (laughs) We are covering 1981's Friday the 13th, Part (laughs) 2. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are here covering (laughs) Friday the 13th, Part 2. Directed by Steve Miner. Let me get resituated here. I did not expect that to happen. That All a- the surprises for the yeah. number one Friday the Thirteenth <laughs> fan in my life. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. What a, what a week we've had. Um, we obviously, if if you're listening to this and you listened to the last one, uh, we just got done covering something else. But in honor of Friday being Friday the Thirteenth when we're releasing this episode, what better of a movie to cover than Friday the Thirteenth Part Two? which, in my opinion, is one of the top-tier Friday the 13th movies. This movie has everything you would possibly want in a camp slasher. It, it's, it's, it's a lot better than I remember. Is it really? It really is. I okay. enjoyed yes. every second of this movie. Good. I did. I, I loved the premise. I loved that they weren't technically at Camp Crystal Lake, but like he still was like, yo, you're in my turf, bro. You know what I mean? Like. Did you enjoy it as much as you enjoy Jason Takes Manhattan? I like part two better. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Part two was definitely... Um, I, I'm now going to go through and rewatch from one on. Good. And and then kind of talk outside of the podcast with you. Okay. And see if part two is the best one. I can't say it's the best right now because obviously I just watched part two, so it's the freshest in my mind. <laughs> um, but there are a lot of really cool uh, aspects of this movie. That I can't wait to get into with the number one Jason Voorhees Friday the Thirteenth <laughs> fan that I have in my life. All right. Um, <clears throat> the oh, before we do that. Oh yeah. As always. Yeah. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, there's going to be some really fun stuff coming out here soon. Yes, there is. Yes. You can also find us on Spotify. Yep. Apple. Yep. Google. Yeah. And Anchor. Yeah. Also, Instagram, J Squared Horror Podcast. Link tree in the bio. New episodes every Thursday. Every Thursday, sometimes Fridays, whenever we decide to spice things up a little bit. Me and Jake had a meeting and decided that we were going to do some things a little bit differently in 2023 to bring you guys as much and the highest of quality of podcast episodes we can. Yeah. So as you hear in the intro and as you hear me say all the time, we are lifelong horror fans. We do a horror podcast our own way, meaning sometimes we include life stories in this. Sometimes we go from start to finish of the movie. Sometimes we talk about themes. Sometimes we talk about absolutely nothing. There are two (laughs) episodes titled Nothing. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to get here with the J Squared Horror Podcast, guys. But so far, we're getting great feedback from you guys. You guys seem to be liking and subscribing and following along on all forms of different ways. We appreciate that. He mentions all the things we're on. We've gotten comments on YouTube. Oh, I found you guys on Apple. I now follow you on here. I now follow you on here. Yeah. So big shout out to all the new fans that we've had. And hopefully, if if you find us through the Friday the 13th algorithm, maybe we'll pop up and uh, surprise you. Yeah. (laughs) So. Jason <laughs> Voorhees. The man, this is the, the myth, this is the, the legend. first Friday the 13th with Jason Voorhees. Yeah. Um, he's wearing his little potato sack hat. He's wearing a potato sack hat with one eye. Yeah. Um, and the first one, the kid is just a dream. Mm-hmm. That is not reality. Correct. So um, I think she was just super traumatized. Because, and the reason I'm talking about it is because it's the first five minutes of this movie is the end of part one. They just they just give you that, and then we'll just get a little recap. You never know. You get a I forgotten. You get a things. kill that makes no sense. What do you mean? The the final girl from the first one just gets an ice pick through the brain by what you, who you would assume is Jason Voorhees. He's just like, oh, fuck the lake. I'm gonna go find this lady and yeah. kill her. 
Yeah, like who killed my mom? Yeah. How did yeah. he track her down? Uh, maybe he remember the guy we met at the bar who like could use the sun to tell the time. Yeah. Maybe he could use the sun and the moon to. I don't know. Like, Triangulate locations. Like, navigate where he. Yeah. He grew up in the woods. Yeah, but he, you can't find a person. That takes technology. I mean, Jason can read. How do you know? I where just, where I, in any of the 12, 13 movies has he ever been like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> 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 he's like, oh, that sign says do not enter. I'm going to go the other way. Never. Jason Voorhees cannot read. He was how old when he drowned? I Quote, mean, unquote, drowned? Pretty young. Yeah. I don't remember his exact age, yeah. but pretty young, yeah. He was a kid. He probably can't. Well, he, uh, I guess he's learned to read at a pretty yeah. young age, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So yeah. He, he can read, yeah. And he was able to build a house in the woods and live there and find clothes. And I love that. I forgot. I didn't know that that was in here. I love that he had. And you can clearly tell. It is just a thrown together little hut. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know we're skipping ahead a bit, but since you brought that house scene up, I got to talk about something that happens right before that, okay. that I almost pissed my pants laughing. What? Because the cop who caught the kids trying to sneak, in, sneak into Camp Blood, uh-huh. um, he's like, hey, you know, don't be here. Then he took them back to camp and was like, hey, you know, you should reprimand these kids. What is, what kind of business are you running here? Blah, blah. Cop shit. Yeah. Horror cop shit. They suck. <laughs> so, he's driving down the road in his Pontiac police vehicle, which I noticed, and <laughs> you just see this Sasquatch Jason just <laughs> like hunchback across the street in broad daylight. Yeah, I don't understand why that happened. <laughs> like it does not make Jason I mean, Borky sense. He had somewhere to be. He was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get home. <laughs> almost, got, almost got caught by the police. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like the way the actor portrayed that run. If you guys, you know, please go watch this movie if you yeah. haven't seen it yet, or if you haven't seen it in years, rewatch it. I know right now it's it's streaming on. Um, I'm pretty sure Amazon. Probably, yeah. I think so. But anyway, that scene had me cracking up. But so this one's cool because um it's like a camp counselor training program. Yeah. So it's like exactly who he wants to be killing. Just all compiled into one yeah. nice little area yeah. for him. And like it's not like he read that. <laughs> <laughs> But he's walking through the he's like, woods. But what happened was, is he was like, Saw the post. who are these kids? That and then he's like, wait, this is camp counselor training. I'm huh. a, I'm a fuck these kids. Yeah. Up. Okay. But there's like, you obviously get the cliche hot chick. You have the, the cliche hot chick. Yeah. The one that's always wearing like a tube top with her nipple showing. Oh yeah. Yeah. And she gets like a, a rock to the butt. <laughs> it's just like a, a, like she's wearing some booty shorts and the camera's just like, cool. <laughs> cameraman's like got you guys there's just some booties and some nips running through the woods <laughs> and she gets hit in the butt by a pebble um it definitely so you obviously are gonna have the tropes you obviously are gonna have the you know who's gonna die basically but that doesn't affect this movie at all no it doesn't it doesn't because <laughs> it just it's good man <laughs> it is man i enjoyed every second of this movie yeah and you got one of if not the best final girl in the business we'll get there but so um the the <laughs> one of so my favorite jason Voorhees kill of all time is the sleeping bag kill mm-hmm. and i can't remember which one that's in it's th- three i think it's in seven Okay, cool. That's why I have the professional here with me. The expert, not professional. <laughs> expert, okay? But my second favorite kill is in this here film. And which one is that? And it is the motorcycle accident wheelchair bound jock guy. Oh, boy. Who is the greatest <laughs> character of any horror film to date. He is, he is my hero. He is amazing. He's wearing... Oh, <laughs> A jersey shirt, like a, not a New Jersey, but like a numbered sports related shirt. Yeah. And he is getting mad flirtation 
from one of the one of the prettier characters yeah. in this movie, and he is throwing it back at her. <laughs> She's like, "How'd you get hurt?" He's like, "Motorcycle accident." Are you ever gonna walk again? Doctors say no, but I'm a, I'm going to. I don't believe that. And she's like, just just plain as day. <laughs> Is everything broken down there? Yikes! Well, I can figure it out. And I was like, damn, <laughs> my man's got swag. But he, he's like, so they're about to, they're about to hook up. That's not the exact words. Yeah, I know. I know. What I is? Know. He, do you remember exactly <laughs> no. what he said? Damn, I'm, I almost wrote it down because I was like weak. But, and this is one of the fun times where, like, now that it's fucking almost 40, however year, many years later, yeah, that it's like you can laugh. Like, you can. And when it came out, it was probably terrifying. Yeah. Because it was it was way within the, like, ahead of its time, but in the time, if that makes sense. Um, They were doing a lot of cool stuff. A lot of the effects were really good. But basically, he's about to hook up, and she's like, I'll be back. I guess in the 80s, you have to change your entire outfit and grab your your comb yeah i mean you're gonna go hook up with the wheelchair guy you want to freshen up a little bit and i'm not saying wheelchair individuals do not enjoy loving either (laughs) i'm not that's that's not the point i'm trying to make here the point is you're at a campsite you you, you're not going to be at your best cleanliness no you're not so i guess in that instance maybe you do want to change the underoos because it might have been a couple of days run around know. sweating yeah maybe she has some, some swamp crotch starting fires shooting yeah. arrows <laughs> so she goes and changes and he's he hears something outside and just rolls out there just are you here vicky i think is her name okay isn't it i don't remember her name. come on dude you're the professional here he rolls outside and he's calling her name <laughs> And then you get this just amazing front pan, back pan, front pan, back pan of high anticipation. But mind you, the front pan, back pan, you're not seeing nobody like walk up. Like the whole time you're thinking like when it's front pan, you're going to see somebody walking up from behind. But then it goes back pan and it's just like the back of his head kind of like shaking back and forth. Because he's just sitting there like wiggling his head. (laughs) I guess that's what you do when you can't find somebody in the 80s. Um, and you just get the machete to the face, but that's not all folks. There's an amazing 300 stair (laughs) stairway that a doll and a wheelchair take an amazing tumble down. And it's just like, then it shoots to like this, like bright flashy, like machete in a head, just like. Just boosh, boosh in your face and then cuts back to the normal movie. Like it yeah. was the most intense transition <laughs> of like an amazing scene. And it was just like, you're like, like, is that God? Is that, like, what is coming through my TV it right is now? It's a very weird freeze frame. And, <laughs> Dude, it's, a lot and of like, shit going the on. music's at like a, 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 a high point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's great. It's one of my favorites. It is one of my favorite kills of, of okay. all Friday the 13th movies. My favorite kill <coughs> from, from that movie yeah. is the couple having sex. Yeah. He comes with the spear and takes it right through both of them. That yeah. was good. The only part I did not like about that scene is she sees Jason Voorhees. There's nothing you can do in that and she just goes, situation. And that's all you got, bro? You're about to die. He has a spear coming at you, and you just lay underneath. Man, there's a there's a PSA here, guys. Once you're done hanky-pankying, you ain't got to lay on top of each other. You're vulnerable. You need to get on your backs and keep your eyes on a <laughs> swivel. Because, you know, rule rule number two, don't have sex. Might be rule number one. Can't quite remember off the top of my head right now. But um, I also realized when that girl left, the wheelchair guy, what does she say? What does she say? Yeah. What right she before say? she leaves to go change. What does she say? I'll be back. Uh, You're breaking all the rules here, guys. You are yeah. breaking every rule. Breaking the rule. I'll be back. You're having sex. You're wanting to have sex for sure. Yeah. You say, I'll be back. You're you're broke. You've done broke, too. There's a lot of drinking, too. Yeah, that's three. You know what I hate about this movie? This one thing. What? So the um like tall, lanky guy. The main um camp guy? I guess the guy who... Oh, the redhead. Yeah. What the fuck is his character? The fact that 
He lives. Well, he he stays at the bar. He lives by just drinking. Hey, Amen. You know, in that yeah. instance, where we'd be. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> you want to go back to the camp? No, nah, nah. I'm gonna stay here and drink. And he's like, once it closed down, just come on back. <laughs> <laughs> That's shit. Me and Jake here quite often. Yeah. You guys want to hang out? Oh, you're going to, you're going to that. Bar. Okay, maybe like hit me up after. <laughs> 2 a.m. rolls by, me and Jake are stumbling around yeah. trying to find our keys. Like, <laughs> bartenders have been kicking us out for 30 minutes. We're just, do, 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 do. <laughs> but yeah, the, I, that guy was funny because like, and when they're telling the story of Jason as like the the ghost stories around the campfire, uh-huh. he's the one that pops out of the trees with the mask and the spear that then kills the couple having sex. Yeah, <laughs> Jason Voorhees in this movie is. Sometimes he seems very big in size. He's a big like mountain in stature. Man. Yeah. But in certain scenes, you would you if you were to guesstimate, like I think that they did a pretty good job on the age. Yeah, if he's probably like in his I would guess twenties. Early twenties, I would yeah. think. Yeah. Some scenes he seems ominously fucking massive. He's rocking the But then beard, when him and Jenny hair. get in their like big fight, like and he gets knocked down a couple of times, yeah. he's definitely just like smaller than us. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what I like about this version of Jason is it's the most realistic. It is the most realistic because when he gets hurt, he gets hurt. Yeah. He's down for a second. And when she comes to him with a chainsaw, he, he actually, cowers. He cowers and backs down, yeah. And I think it's it might have just because it's like a motorized thing and he probably hasn't like fucked with a chainsaw in a while, so it might have just been that. But he also knows that's probably gonna hurt. Yeah. That could take And didn't it off. spark when it hit him? It did. <laughs> Love it. Reminds me of the Power Rangers. <laughs> Every time they punch something, it's like, Psh. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> a lot yeah. of people live due to drinking in this movie. They do because a humongous group of their counselor trainees all went out to drink, but that's all you see of them. Like they're <laughs> they're literally never mentioned again. Yeah, because they're at the bar hanging out. They're good. Yeah, but even in the bar scenes, it's just the three. Like <laughs> they don't care about the other ones wherever they are. They're out doing their thing, <laughs> having a good time. It's, I don't know, it's so interesting to me that you get to see so many different sides of Jason. Yeah. You see, like you mentioned before, running across the street, Jason. Awkward. You see cowering in fear, Jason. Awkward. You see just bursting through windows, Jason. Yeah, he's a he's a window burster in this one. Yeah, one of my favorite scenes in this movie is when Jenny is sitting in the car mm-hmm. and... She thinks she's gotten away from Jason, and she's like trying to start the car. And you see him in the in the background. Yeah, you see that twice. just like sprinting. Yeah, you see that twice. Yeah, but that's when she sneaks into the hut. Yeah, you see through the window in the background that motherfucker's like four four forty yeah. and hauling just, ass towards her. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, see, you can see Jason running too. Yeah, so it's not that see. it's not that whole Jason can teleport shit. Yeah, which that we love to chat about. Which go back to. Jason takes a bite of the Big Apple yeah. episode to hear you about the teleportation theories. Hauling ass towards it. Yeah, this is a very, because it's the first time, it is the very first time you see Jason Voorhees. So yeah. it is going to be the most raw, realistic Jason. Yeah, he's I mean, he human. takes a couple of hits, especially at the end, like an injury that you're like, eh. But then you start to realize, like, hmm. Because in this movie in particular, it's the, nothing. With like once he gets the 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 actual like what would be a kill shot, you don't know if it's like the same ending as one, or not. Was it a dream, or was it reality? Yeah, because of the way it it ends abruptly. It does. Do you agree? I do. Like I wasn't. I I paused it at one point because I wanted to make sure I was going to have it done before you got here. Uh-huh. And it was like I was like, wait, this is only. An hour and 27 minutes long <laughs> we've had podcast episodes almost that long that's true but it is the 80 like the the run times were shorter on yeah. movies i feel like an hour and a half is all you need though yeah depending yeah like i always get happy with newer movies like newer renditions when i get a good two really i'm a big two hour guy it depends on the movie for me if there was a two hour slaughterhouse rules mm. it was damn near close to it yeah, I think it was like it was like over an hour forty. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, but you guys can listen to that episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the best part about this movie is to find a girl, right? No, Jenny. 
No. She's so great. Jenny is smart. Yeah, she's the first person never. Oh, she's her first encounter. Yeah, I'm about, I was about to. Woo, boy. I'm about to tear into that statement. Yeah, she's the fucking first because yeah. she's the first that's ever dealt with Jason Voorhees. I get that. We don't care about the ones that come later. Yeah, because they all suck compared to her. Mostly. But she, they all do. But she is able if to. If anything, the girl in the first movie is the best final girl because she decapitates Mrs. Voorhees. That's, yeah, I'm not impressed. That's that. impressive. Yeah. Jenny outsmarts him. Mm-mm. Only yeah. for a second. But then he's like, hold a fucking phone. Is that my mama standing behind <laughs> you? I thought you were my mama. And then just fucking immediately just. I mean. The lights turned on. It worked long enough to get the jump on him. No, the only reason she survived is because of her boyfriend. Ooh. Yeah, good old Paul. Paul. So you needed a final guy in this movie in order for the final girl to make it. So how did you get top tier final girl needing somebody else? Okay, first that's why of- Nev Campbell drops down on your list because you're always like, "Well, she always has Dewey and fucking Courtney Cox." <laughs> so how 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 can that be your your favorite final girl? You just have a fucking crush on her. Just I, admit it. No, you just have a crush on her. No, you do. I like her look. That's a crush. I like her personality. <laughs> <laughs> I like her well thought out planning. I like the slow walks through the woods. <laughs> I like that her car doesn't start to add dramatic effects. I mean, I do like her planning. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the fact that she shows true emotions. She does. Yeah. You know? Like when she's in there with, with Paul and she sees someone else is in there, she speaks up and says something. She's always alert. Yeah. She's always on the the defense. And when she's back into her corner that she feels like she can't get out of, she's like, hmm. Her job is like child. She's like child psychology. Yeah, child, yeah. child psychology. It's okay. Yeah, stuff. Anyway. It is. So she uses that to get the one up on him briefly. It works long enough. For her boyfriend to come save the day. He didn't save the day, though. She would have died. I don't think so. I do. No. Especially based on the very end. Nah. Yeah. Her survival instincts are not as good as you think. Her and that pitchfork is is iconic. I don't get it. We don't get it. I don't get the pitchfork thing. To defend yourself. Yeah, but guess what? There's a window behind you that you're not even thinking of. And then old crazy eyes come through there and grab (laughs) you. (laughs) Crazy eyes. (laughs) So that part, the end where the dog comes, Mm -hmm. I thought homeboy was about to get... Yikes. Yeah. That's what I expected. I, they I completely that. forgot. I thought she stabbed him with the pitchfork this whole time. I'm pretty sure I've, I've if uh, there's probably an episode where I say that because that's <laughs> what I thought. I thought he like ran in and she's like just sitting there on the bed and he just runs into it. She's just preparing herself. She's ready, but she wasn't because he attacks through a window behind yeah. her. Plus, just- Plus, she's he's already proved that like the window thing is his thing. So like, if you're such a great final girl, maybe not sit on a bed that your back is out of wit like a fucking eight pane window he's proved it with you in particular like oh i'm hiding in this little room hand comes through the window she's like "Ah." then she tries to escape out of another window falls and eat shit windows aren't your fucking best friend in this movie and yet at the very end so your great final girl instincts kick in and you're sitting the wrong way with a pitchfork and he fucking pulls you through a window I don't mean to shit on your favorite final girl, but now I got all the am- ammo I need to prove she's uh, maybe, you know, coming in at 10. <laughs> top 10, maybe. Top, top 10, maybe. One is still top 10, so I'll take it. No, like below five and in <laughs> between 10. No. Yeah. No. Because, yeah, I mean, think about it. There's, there's final girls that needed nobody but themselves to survive, and she needed all the help in the world she and still didn't have a perfect plan. That Paul made it. Yes, she can. I almost thought he wasn't going to make it. We don't know for sure. Do we? Is it confirmed? I don't think so. <laughs> this is supposed to be the expert. Here. Yeah, it's confirmed that he made it. Yeah, because at the end of the movie, she's getting rolled out on a stretcher. Yeah, she's like, "What happened? Where's Paul?" Yeah, and it's like, and credits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul's just you know, 
Maybe I I should just put on part three right now and we'll just see it real quick. No. <laughs> yeah, I think in part three they like re- yeah, they recap and see on the news that her and Paul make it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Paul yeah. Paul is the true hero in this one. He's not. Yeah, he goes hand to hand combat against Jason. And then I guess Jason gets distracted by Jenny asking where Paul is. Not quite sure why he survived. Then he takes a nice <laughs> nap for about thirty and then finds the hut that she's in somehow. And saves the day. So, if anything, the final guy in this movie is the better. Because he wasn't sitting with his back towards a window with a pitchfork facing the wrong way. But, hey, you know, that's that's Jake's favorite yeah, final girl. he was walking into rooms not knowing other people were in the rooms somehow. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, that's Paul. my phone. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you read the room? No, Jenny needs to read a room. No. Jenny, Stay away from fucking windows. Jenny's fine. She can do no wrong. I don't know. And plus the actress, Amy Steele, she was in uh, April Fool's Day, which I also enjoy. Our fans do not. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> they might if you guys now. are wondering what we're talking about, go back a couple episodes. It's a fun one. Yeah. Valentine. Wait, which one? April Fool's Day. Yeah, Valentine? Oh, sorry. Don't watch Valentine. I was thinking of the other bad one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other bad one? Not bad, but didn't do so well on the numbers. Yeah, the other shitty episode we did. We've never done a shitty episode. You ever seen Slaughterhouse Rules? They have probably not yet. <laughs> it was not a bad episode. I mean, I thought it mid episode. I it got was, through it. I worked my yeah, way through it. It was a fine episode. It. You guys will love it. I worked my way through it. Yeah. All right. Let's hear this. Let's hear this biased ass rating we're about to get. Whoa. Biased rating? Did y'all hear that? I did. That's called a throat burp. <laughs> <laughs> That's where a burp just happens. <laughs> Actually, no. Is there any? Is there? What's your favorite? Bias written. That's crazy. What? <laughs> it's your favorite franchise. I have to say it. Um, what's your favorite? What's your least favorite kill? Hmm. There we go. My least favorite kill is probably the dude in the wheelchair. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it, it makes no sense. Because in my mind, the way he's just sitting there and the way that machete comes in, is Jason just standing there the yeah. entire time? Maybe that's why his head was just bobbing back and forth. Does he's he like, want, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, hop out of a bush? He might have just hopped out of the door. He might have come in the back door. And just... Hit him with it. Walked through the house and then popped out of that front door that he yeah. magically rolled through. It perfectly. doesn't make sense to me. And the fact that they had him rolling down the stairs like that. <laughs> it was so enjoyable. It's so ridiculous. It's ridiculously amazing. Even as a kill, like, yeah, this makes no sense. Who cares? It doesn't have to make sense. It's also, horror. he should have fallen out of that wheelchair. He was strapped in that he bad boy should, or something. Been seen a body just falling all down the stairs. No, they, they duct taped that. And the wheelchair in comes in. Lands on them afterwards. That's what should have really happened. Well, they did a freeze frame Jesus lighting. Yeah, that was so weird. <laughs> that was an, an interesting choice to do with that thing. They're like, we're gonna push the, we're gonna, we're gonna try to stretch the envelope. Whatever the saying is, push the envelope. Stretch the envelope. Hey man, whatever you gotta do to make okay. movies, <laughs> make movie magic. Um, push it, stretch it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bop it, twist Pull, it, pull it. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have one? I of those? was so good at bopping back in the I day. I never dude. had one. I fucked them up. My friends I've did. Never I never played had one, one in my entire life. Dude, we should do a bopping episode. I will slaughter you. Yeah, I've never played one before. Twist it. Ah, that's when you miss it. He yells at you. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten the high scores so many times. Yeah, I'm more of an Uno kind of guy. Uno, Phase Ten. Yeah, I know we talked about it. Yeah, I, lo- I love card games. Did we? Remember, because the bar we go to has poker, and I was like, hey, we should just start bringing Uno in this bitch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're like, hey, have you ever played Phase 10? There's Jake. Yeah. (laughs) Ten (laughs) steps ahead. (laughs) Get it? Phase 10? Ten Ah, steps ahead. There there we go. go. (laughs) Um, Oh, you want to know my least favorite kill? Thanks, Jake. Um, What is it? (laughs) See, just fucking Mr. Conceited over here. It's all about me. We can talk. What was your favorite kill? Favorite kill was the couple with the spear. So my least favorite kill. <laughs> now my least favorite kill is Crazy Greg or whatever his name is. He gets uh, choked behind uh, from behind the tree. Yeah, 
Roy? Not Roy. Crazy Roy. It's not Roy. Crazy Ralph. Crazy Ralph. There we crazy go. Crazy Ralph. You're all doomed. He, they should have listened. He's not that crazy. Um, and then he... He was crazy as shit in part one, though. Yeah, I, I, that's fine. But, I mean, you see some crazy shit happen. I mean, can't blame the guy. You're riding on that fucking bicycle. That, yeah. was, that was so funny to me. Yeah. But, yeah, um, I didn't like that. That also makes no sense. J- Jason's not eight feet tall. Yeah, his arms were, like, up there. Yeah. The 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 consistency there was a little off, but yeah. also like so. There's a lot of scenes where like you you think it's Jason creeping through the woods. It's it's crazy Ralph <coughs> just peeping on some teenagers just lurking around. There's, I'm gonna make sure they don't die. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're now you you died because you didn't look behind a tree. I don't I don't know. So I know there were three different people that played Jason in this movie. Like you could, you, you can kind of see inconsistencies and sizes. Yeah, because yeah. like I said, in the the main fight between Jenny, it's literally a guy that's probably like five ten, like a buck eighty. <laughs> Seriously, dude, like he hit the ground, and I was like, man, that dude's kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> there is a really funny part where, so I will say, Jenny is one of the best, like, runners from a villain. Like she is very smart. When it comes to like that aspect, she's just smart in general. But it's yeah. always like the trip, the fall. So she'll run, but then she'll like, like she gets check. What that didn't make sense. That kind of goes into the teleportation theory. But he was way behind her, and then just bam, fucking uh, Ray Lewis is her um, like, from it, the side of the trees. It's just angles. Yeah, it is. It is probably angles and knowing your terrain yeah. too, because he's obviously spent his entire life there. He's got home court advantage. He's got home field advantage. Um, well, field, court, same thing. I mean, depending on the sport. Um, well, this isn't a sport at all. It is. It's the sport of life. The sport of life. <laughs> the sport of surviving horror movies. Yeah, he has home forest advantage. He's got home f- 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 advantage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he tackles her. Yeah! And like, it it would probably hurt pretty yeah. bad. But then like he gets up and it's like continues on. And she's just like, I'm behind a tree. I was like, hmm. Interesting, yeah. but that was very smart. But right before that, he she kicks him in the nuts, <laughs> and he goes, "Ooh!" <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I got to see Jason Voorhees get kicked in the nuts and him like double hand that shit, <laughs> I was like, "This dude's real. He's not yeah, a zombie yet. He's not. <laughs> he felt every bit of that." So there's a scene where <laughs> she hides under the bed, mm-hmm. and the rat comes out. Oh, yeah. I meant to bring that up, too. Thank you. And next thing you know, there's a piss on the floor. So, I always thought it was her peeing in fear. Mm-hmm. From what I've read, it was the rat. The rat just peed? Yeah. They pee and poop a lot. I was an expert on I mean, them for t- a while. To me, it makes no sense. I feel like it was her. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, they were just like, this scene was perfect, but the rat peed. Yeah. Keep it. Cut Him it. standing on the chair. And, and it breaks. And it breaks like, dude. Yeah. Get once your ag- shit together. Once again, why Jenny has unfair final girl. She's dead right then. But big old, that was the wrong actor. They mixed them up. The stuntmen. Yeah, that was the. Yeah, that was the bigger one. The bigger They're actor. like, damn it. We put Greg on the chair? <laughs> I told you guys, Phil chair. He fucking fell. That looks stupid. A- actually. He, he breaks it. That, that, looks, that looks good. That looks good. Has a slow he had the, mo. He had the kill fall. shot down and it's just. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. So stupid. Adds for great comedic relief, but doesn't make sense. Why is Jason Voorhees standing on a chair? Is he checking? To get the perfect angle. And so that if she's under the bed looking, she doesn't see feet. I'll give you that one. Yeah, so that's actually smart on his end. But you should also look and make sure it's not a wicker chair from 17 7 to 6. Before you stand on it with anger and might. Because <laughs> if you realize, like, if you just stand on something, it's usually okay. But the moment you get scared or angry, physics are out of that yeah. shit. Because he's, like, preparing, and I bet he, like, pushed down a little bit to get his fucking... Yeah. Mm! And it was just like... <laughs> he was going to put her through the floor. Yeah. Especially if you're able to stab through a couple Yeah, with a little tiny... You know, I mean, it's a spear, but... the Pokey part on it's not that big. Yeah, that's, that's it's a, a lot, lot of force. Of force yeah. yeah, but that does it, they use that later on in uh, Freddy versus Jason. 
when he bends that guy on the yeah. bed. That was always a favorite kill of mine. Yeah. But that's yeah. new. That's that's a different Jason. That's not the same Jason. Yeah, this isn't the same Jason who's wearing the sack over his head. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the fact that, um, you know, he's so mobile and so agile with a peephole. I'd like to see the POV of that. <laughs> Just <laughs> the fact that you're able to keep tabs on these people and you got whoop, this much vision. <laughs> uh, for you audio listeners, it's an eye hole cut out on a potato sack almost. And then I do, it was interesting to me that when they took his mask off, once they like defeated him Uh and they don't show him. So at that moment, they're just like, (laughs) oh, that's mean. Yeah. I mean, I'd come after you again, too, if you owed me. That's that's uncalled for. That's why I was wearing the mask. I was trying to be polite. Yeah. You're the asshole that took it off. You don't have to owe me. Yeah, true. It's like taking off my hat when I haven't washed my hair in a couple of days. It's going (laughs) to be an oh, but that's why I have a fucking hat on. Yeah. Jason knows he's scarier without a mask, like which was, is ironic. He was a good look. Overalls, getting long hair, brown like, boots. The, I noticed the beard, brown boots. Yeah, long hair. Yeah, he had some hair when he came to that window, boy. Yeah, he's out in the woods. He's not cutting his hair. You got a, you got some sharp utensils around. Utensils, uh, weapons around. He probably used to do that. I said, no, nah, I'm good. So what? What? I thought the dog was the mangled up animal that they found. Uh huh. That's why I think that that last part was all a dream. You think so? I think so. Because that look, because they were even like, we're not going to tell her. And he's like, fuck no, we didn't see anything. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I think it was literally from once they defeated Jason, Mm -hmm. they just like passed out. Just their physical exertion just just won over and the trauma of what they just went through. Because it's a common theme. It would then be a common theme between one and two. Like, you don't know the technical endings. Yeah. It's like the trauma and stress-induced nightmares. Mm. No, I don't like that. You don't like anything I say. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck you do a podcast with me. That's a very good point that I've never heard anybody else make, so fuck you. Yeah. Hmm, good point. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Constantly here on the podcast. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy we didn't rate it when I asked because we had some more good good content yeah. in there. Um also, side note, that really hot chick that I was talking about earlier with the crop tops and nipples and booty shorts. Um yeah, she goes for a solo naked swim in a lake oh. at nighttime. Okay. That's my probably my second least favorite kill. Hers or his? Hers. Do you see it? No, she just turns and just, ah. yeah. And her eyes look fucking weird. Yeah, she's a lazy guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't trying to be rude. Yeah, she's a lazy My guy. bad, dude. I, I know they it. I know they mean, yeah. It, it, it's, yeah. that's it's, offensive. It, it's tough out there. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> but then you see her later when Jenny is talking with Jason, that final scene or final part or whatever, mm-hmm. and she's like breathing like on the floor. That wasn't her. That was the girl. No, that, that was her. No, that was the girl. That, that was her. Got killed trying to hump the wheelchair guy. No, that was her. That's who was on the floor. That was her. No, because she was naked. This girl wasn't naked. Corner left. Yeah, on the, the girl ground. that you're talking she about that same, got killed. She had the same purple shirt on. No, she got she got killed nude. She just got done swimming naked. The only thing she had on her was a towel. She didn't get killed nude. She didn't. Dude, I'm you're supposed you. to be some expert on Friday the Thirteenth. The girl that was on the floor in the shrine room okay. was Vicky or whatever her name was. Right, look at that right now as you're talking. I'm not talking because you're wrong. I'm not wrong. I can't wait for this. How long is this going to take for him to find guys? Because he's going to look up Wikipedia. I'm not going to Wikipedia anything. If you guys remember, there was an episode where I called him a boomer because he loves Googling stuff when I'm right. Or watching it live. Or listening to it live. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> my tummy is on a roar tonight, boys. And girls. Yeah, so her name is Terry. That's the character name. That's the hot one. I was wrong about the shirt color. Boom, right there. With the what? shirt on. Laying on the floor, like I said. 
That's the other girl. Who? Are you? What? The girl that got killed trying to hump the wheelchair guy. I'm not talking about him. Her? That's who's on the floor. That's not who that is, though. Yeah, it is. It's not. It is. Okay, give me one more second, guys. What does that picture even show? That's them when they're in this room here. Mm-hmm. That's her on the floor. Who? And who put that the shirt on The chick her? with the wonky eye. No offense to wonky eyes. I have one myself, so I get it. But, yeah. Dude. All right. The chick you're thinking about is... Her. Her? No, that's the girlfriend. Okay, hold on. You're supposed to be the expert. Oh, Vicky, you're right. Her. I've been saying her fucking name all day. Dude. Her. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's not her. That's where I got purple shirt from, I guess. But uh, Yeah, in this movie, her in the wheelchair. Yeah. Her right there. Yeah. She's yeah. the one that's on the floor. Yeah, she has a purple shirt there. But, yeah, so she gets killed at this point. Yeah. With a sweater on. She's not naked. But the other girl died naked. No one died naked. She Besides did. the one they were having sex. No, dude. She came out of the water. The dude took her clothes. The dude got caught in a booby trap. She has a towel over her shoulders. She is. He took her clothes and was naked. I know. And then. That's the girl I was talking about. She gets caught and then she gets killed in the woods. Or she, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he took her home. But she wasn't wearing a long sleeve shirt. She was wearing a crop top at best when she went swimming. So someone just put her in a long sleeve shirt? Yes, dude. So that. Plot holes. So the picture I just showed you was, yeah, just, was somebody just else threw her in a long sleeve shirt. That might have been somebody from part one for all I know. No, it wasn't. Dude, when she dies, when she goes swimming, she is, she goes, I just said she went naked swimming and then gets her clothes taken by that guy that was a creep. You just saw the picture of her with clothes on, on yeah. the ground dead. That's a plot hole. Did Jason put a nice sweater on her I to make her it. look like mommy? He might have. I'm just saying, when I last saw her, her boobies are out. When I last saw her, she turned naked. She wasn't naked. She was wearing a towel on her shoulders. I don't know where she got the towel from, though. Because she was just walking around the woods in no clothing. Okay. I just watched this movie, dude. Like, literally. I just showed you a picture from that scene. It doesn't make sense, though. You can show me the picture from the scene all you want, but that's not what she was wearing when she died. She was wearing nothing. That's all I'm trying to say. I just watched this movie. Okay. When's the last time you watched this movie? It's been a couple of weeks. All right, Jake. Yeah, I just showed you that. But anyway, okay. Go I ahead. know. It doesn't make sense, though, because she died naked. Okay. I'll show you this, too. Gotcha. Boom. I don't care about the pitchfork. I do. Okay. It's stupid. It's not stupid. Yes, it is. Did it kill anyone? No. Did it help her at all? No. I think it looks good. No, it doesn't. It looks stupid. I think it completes the Especially look. Especially when you watch the scene. Mm. Hmm. I'm right. just saying. All right. Ratings? Well, I'd have my opinion too, bub. <laughs> <laughs> my koozie's all bent. Jake, on a scale of one to ten. Eight and a half. It's an eight and a half. I'll give it a solid seven. Seven? I'll give it a solid seven. Jenny All alone because makes it eight. Jenny alone drops it, too. <laughs> so, yeah. <Okay. laughs> she drops it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to piss you off. All right, guys. This was the Friday the 13th spectacular episode. Thank you, guys. A, if you guys listen to both of them, that'd be super cool. That would be. This weekend. Because, you know, maybe on Friday the 13th, you get all your friends together. You all hang out and watch the J-Squared Horror Podcast. And then this weekend, you can watch the Slaughterhouse Rules. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. That's cool. You don't have to watch that one with your friends. This one will be enjoyable with your friends. Especially if you guys have watched this movie, then you guys can argue like we are and see who you agree with. And then you can comment down below. Comment on Instagram. Email us, jsquaredhorror at gmail.com. <laughs> we would love to talk to you guys about this movie, especially Jake. Um, thank you guys so much 
for being fans of the podcast. Don't forget, I know we mentioned it on the last episode, but depending on which one you listen to, next Thursday, we're going to be covering... Signs. By M. Night Shyamalama Lama. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan and Signs. We're kind of going outside of some of the movies we've kind of covered, doing something a wee little different. And uh, I'm pretty excited to cover that one. So it gives you guys some time to prepare, watch the movie, comment, favorite parts, anything like that. Um, for any of you guys that, you know, uh, want to comment, if anybody comments about Signs, uh, whether it's your favorite scene, how it made you feel, we'll actually read them out next week on the episode. Um, so cool. you guys can, whether it's Instagram, whether you email us, like I said, the email is actually j squared horror at gmail.com. If you guys want to go that route, if you don't want to comment on YouTube, if you don't want to comment on Instagram, if you guys are purely audio listeners on like Apple, you don't follow us anywhere else. You can email us. Um, we will actually read out and you can say whatever name you want. We will just say a first name and read out any, like if you have fun facts, if you have a favorite scene, if you think the movie absolutely sucks. We will read them out live on the episode. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be cool. Yeah, just trying to include you guys. Include you guys in the podcast. Come on along, guys. We're doing some horror stuff. <laughs> some horror stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just what are you guys stuff. doing? Not some horror stuff. <laughs> Big shout out to all of our supporters. Jeff Balance. Oh, boy, oh, boy, do we have something exciting to show you guys very soon. Yes, we do. He's our design guy. We love his work. He has absolutely killed it. And this next logo is the literal identity of the J-Squared Horror Podcast. Yeah. Big, oops, sorry. Uh, big shout out to Lucky Riggs, who does our intro and our outro music. He's amazing. It fits our podcast perfectly. We love it. A big shout out also to Trademark Printing, who does our printing needs. The shirt I'm wearing right now, uh, any of the merch that you guys can or have bought, uh, the koozies that we'll send out. If you comment, Jenny is average at best, but you have to spell it correctly. I will not tell you how to spell Jenny from this movie, but if you comment that or email it, whatever you guys decide, Jenny is average at best. I will send you a J squared horror koozie. Okay. <laughs> it's all the comments I try to get them to put. Are They're just very to negative towards me. Yeah, just to piss you off. It makes me happy. <laughs> Jenny. Oh God. Jenny's average. Yeah. Would you like to let them know a comment that they can leave? Um, well, no, I'll, I'll save it for the next episode. Save actually. it for the, now you guys have another comment to look forward to. Yeah. Maybe you get some free koozies. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into the J squared horror podcast. My name is Josh and I'm Jake. You guys have a great week and remember it's hip to be squared.